Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Naše programy nabízejí více jazyků. Prosím, navštivte suprememastertv.com lomítko schedule. Life is short anyway, okay? You do what you can, huh? To be worthy of the human's life. It's all illusion anyway. Hmm? But it's funny how illusion can even make people really suffer. This is a game here, you know? It's a game. You cannot avoid it. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English and Chinese with subtitles in Arabic, Polaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Kewangara. That's how are you in Palawan. My name is Aisake. Your virtues are shining for all to see. The Palawan people feel honored to have friends like you. In the southwest corner of Micronesia lies Palau, consisting of some 340 islands surrounded by a huge protective coral reef. The nation's capital city is Malekayok, located on its largest island, Babotuap. Palau is a true, unspoiled, tropical paradise on the planet. It is home to many beautiful gifts from nature, including waterfalls like the Nardmel, one of the largest in Micronesia. Palau has also become renowned for leading the world in marine ecosystem protection. As part of the Micronesia Challenge, the government pledged to conserve 30% of nearshore coastal waters and 20% of forest land by 2020. In addition, Palau banned commercial shark fishing in 2009, replacing it with the world's first shark sanctuary. On Palau's Ilmok Island, there is a marine lake called Jellyfish Lake, where millions of stingless jellyfish migrate across every day. The world-famous rock islands are also found in Palau. This group comprises over 200 rounded knobs of forest-capped limestone and was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2012. Palawan society as a whole is based on matrilineal system where women are the decision makers. The nation's congress is called Obil Era Kelulao, meaning House of Whispered Decisions. His name encourages quiet decision making rather than loud debate. Palawan architecture often features the decorated by gable fashioned after the traditional community meeting house. It is a joy to share a glimpse of enchantingly picturesque Palau with you, delightful viewers. May your lives be filled with all things beautiful.
For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Guan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Guan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped World Honored One, Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, the venerated Master and Philosopher, Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated Master and Philosopher, Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Devji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving, plant-based diet and envisions, with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included Alternative Living Flyer Distribution, the International Vegan Restaurants Loving Hut, Vegan Food Companies, Vegan Fur Products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled, Heaven is Here and Now, Part 2 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English and Chinese on October 6, 2019, in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. We are ascetic, but for necessity, right? Yes. But that one, I think, I, I think I can go without. The bicycling uphill, I think I can go without. I don't know if it's good for anybody, but I can go without. <laughs> it depends on your life viewpoint, whether or not something is ascetic or not, right? Yes. Because for me, I don't feel ascetic. I have a big house. <laughs> no, joking. That was just after the dog came. Because they built that house, but I never lived in it. In the beginning only. And then after the fire incident, I just say, say Yonara to the house. <laughs> I don't dare to live there anymore. Not only that, but after that, we have cave already. Yeah? So I didn't have to stay in the house. Actually, I could stay in the house, but I didn't feel like it, you know? I didn't feel like it at all. Sometimes I come in just to meet somebody there, like an office, because my cave is too small, you know? I don't know, my cave is smaller than all of yours. I don't know why, how did they do it? Two meters square is already very small. They shorten it a little bit, just to make sure everybody knows that's master's cave. <laughs> small size. <laughs> it wasn't necessary. I often don't meet people in the cave, you know, except, you know, some private secretary or something, sometime in the middle of the night, you know. We don't go there and just meet in my cave. Two people can sit. Three, no, no. So I never really stayed in that house, but now the dogs came, you know. And uh, I don't have enough room in the cave for all the dogs. <laughs> they like to, to be around me, so... So they hang around and I'm working, yeah? Very convenient. Anybody want to come to my office? Let's go through the docks first. <laughs> they screen many out. <laughs> out. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> And English as a goodbye. <laughs> People think that I have a lot of money. I don't see any. <laughs> It probably go from one door to another so quick. Yeah. I don't even know how much we have. We give out quickly, yeah. A little bit here, a little bit there, every day, you know. Almost every week, right? Mm. Hardly two days go by without any, you know, contributions. It's not a lot, but every drop of water, you know, comes in and then it fills the cup, hmm? mm. or drains the cup, <laughs> depends. Not only that, but because we are very frugal, no? right? Yes. Mm. Very frugal we are, yeah? Yes. When I go out, I wear some nice clothes, but that's it, you know? You know at home, I don't wear a lot. I mean, don't need a lot of clothes. A couple is enough, it's just so many. Everybody buys something, you know, the attendants before. They bought all kinds of sizes. They didn't consider what I look like if I wear them. <laughs> Either very tight, like sardines in the doors, or very big. Yeah. And they're just hanging in there, you know. Last winter, I had a couple of hours. I saw them all out, but still some more left. I buy all kinds of shoes, all sizes, fit elephants and horses. <laughs> so, and then I don't even wear them. And then they just go, go bad, you know? They go, grow old and broken by themselves. Nobody touches them, they're broken <laughs> by themselves. They grow old, you know? I did not think I was old until I see all the shoes. When I saw all the shoes, I know how old they are already, how, how, how long they have been there. Then I know how old I <laughs> probably have been, <laughs> you know, added on over the years. I'm sorry we don't have many. We could have more of us, but I cannot always find more people, okay? Most of them, they have karma outside. They don't have ascetic karma like us, no? <laughs> yeah, actually, we are very frugal. Otherwise, all the money I earn will have been gone already before they even touch any poor or needy people, yeah? Because if we build houses, you know, for every of us, and luxury style, you know, one car each, <laughs> <laughs> and the insurance money will eat us up, <laughs> and the mortgage or whatever, yeah? Hmm. We're okay, right? We are better than, we're better off than lots of people, truly children who don't have Food to eat, they become only bones, you know? Especially in the African kind of countries. Oh my God, you just shed tears when you see all that. We are very good, too good, okay? I really think we're too good, we have everything. In the cave. <laughs> I used to love my cave so much. Because whenever I enter, I feel so comfortable, you know? I look outside, so wide, yeah. And my cave seems very big to me. It's my size, but I feel it's very big inside. A lot of space somehow. Yeah. But my dog who loved doesn't like it. He doesn't like caves, he doesn't like huts, he doesn't like anything like that. He likes the house. <laughs> so far. <laughs> Must have. In Italy, we have one house. But I didn't live inside the house. I felt it was too big. If I lived there, it's too much cleaning and taking care. So I have a very little house, like like those store storeroom house, storehouses, almost as big as a cave, a little bit taller because of the roof. You yeah? know, well, I bought that kind of house, very simple, and put it a little bit outside to stay. And I brought my dog. It's enough room for him, but he he didn't like. <laughs> So he kept running in, inside the house. He ran and he looked back at me, like, come here, you know, come along. <laughs> Not that type of house. <laughs> he kept looking at me and he ran, he looked and ran. And then I said, if you want, you can go in there. I don't need to go there. 
And now and then he, he went inside, staying on the sofa, sleeping there alone with aircon and all. Yeah. <laughs> my my little house about two meters long, one and a half meters wide. Enough for him and me. I didn't like it. Uh, I know there's no aircon, but I bought specially for him uh I you say this kind of stone, talisu. I forgot how to say that. Marble. A piece of marble, bigger than his size. I put it on the corner for him. That's very cool, you know. No, doesn't. Like, I said, sit down. He sat. Okay, he sat. And then I look outside in the window. I come back, no more. <laughs> when I look back, no more. Good luck, was gone. And he went inside the house, you know, and lay on the sofa in front of the aircon. <laughs> what kind of dog, huh? And eat Vietnamese spring roll and stuff like that. Normal food he doesn't eat. <laughs> dog food, mm-hmm. he look at it, sniff, sniff, and then leave it there. Okay? He eats when he's hungry, though. But if he has spring roll or Vietnamese cha and something like that, then he gulp it quick. <laughs> he's so big and beautiful. Whenever I say, I don't understand why your ex-caretaker owner just did not keep you, and he said, mm. <laughs> it's like, all the time. <laughs> mm, don't mention these people. <laughs> oh, I think one time he said it in front of the camera, no? in the BMD in France, yeah, yeah. And everybody laughed so much because he kind of, Punctu- punctuate, you know, that sentence, <laughs> like that. <laughs> you guys enjoy good food? You should come every weekend, every weekend different. <laughs> wow, wow. Mm. The Westerner likes it. <laughs> You can eat any more? Here? No, boy, they eat more. Come. Mm, I put a little bit, Maggie, so... More, have a kick, you know? Have a little kick. Yeah. 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 Boys eat a lot to grow up. <laughs> they don't ever grow up. You know. Not if they can avoid it. <laughs> yeah? Everybody, a little bit. Yeah? Tap, 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 tap. Are you cut? This one also. Tap, 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 tap. Did you have this before? I have, right? Everybody, a little bit. Okay? Symbolic. Of love. Mm. The people. Are you okay there? Huh? Are you okay? Mm. If you want, you can come over, yeah? Just very tight, a little bit tight, and don't sit as comfortable as you are over there with table. <laughs> We're here more ascetic, you know. We're cave, cavemen. Cavemen is like this. No? <laughs> uh, where was it? Mosquito, go! Ah, I'm thinking. I know, I know you work very hard, okay? Don't think I don't know. At least you think you work very hard. That I know. <laughs> At least you think you work hard, right? Yeah. Thinking is not real, okay? <laughs> anyway, if you work hard, so what? Huh? Better than have no job, no? Nowadays, a lot of unemployed people, yeah? Yes. Even if I pay you a holy peanut, it's better than nothing. It's still holy, right? Yes. <laughs> you okay? You have everything you need, right? Yes. Ah, you're much better than me than when I was so-called disciple. I hardly had anything to eat. It's a Westerner. They eat like buffalo and they left me nothing. I was busy working for the guru, you know, when I came out, nothing was left except a big mountain of washing to do. Give me that every day. 
הוא ראשי. סבבה, אה? מה זה? זה טו לוק הסם, אה? זה לא נכון, אה? אבו ג'וס, אני לא צריך אבו ג'וס. פה. אם אתה רוצה. With a wrist, okay? Don't drink too much apple juice. Don't eat too many apples. The story about Eva and Adam with the apple, it has some truth in it, okay? It's a seductive kind of fruit. It's not the only one, of course, but I don't want to list the whole thing here. <laughs> and then you have nothing to eat. <laughs> Just eat less, okay? It's good like this, we eat on Sundays, so I sometimes have a chance to tell you something that you don't want to hear <laughs> normally. <laughs> With the food, it's easy to swallow down. <laughs> I know we work hard, but we work hard for a good cause, you know? Mm. Whatever time you can sleep, you feel good in your heart, you know? Nothing's better than what you're doing, okay? Yeah. That's what I think. But it doesn't matter what I think, right? <laughs> you think differently, right? <laughs> Who cares, yeah? Never mind. Life is short anyway, okay? You do what you can, huh? To be worthy of the human's life. It's all illusion anyway. Hmm? But it's funny how illusion can even make people really suffer. This is a game here, you know? It's a game. Cannot avoid it. You don't want to eat this, why are you so sweet? I like it. I like it, but it's too sweet. I almost ate it. I'm almost ate it. I'm going to eat it. I said, if I'm, when I was in India, if I had such thing to eat, wow. I would have felt like I didn't need any more guru. I'm in heaven already. <laughs> Heaven is here and now, you know, I would announce like that. But I didn't care really. Most happy time for me was living along the, the Ganges, you know? Either in cave or in a mud house. I felt happy, very happy. Noble viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled, Heaven is Here and Now, Part 2 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is, True Monk, Selections from Jainism's Holy Sutra Kritanga Sutra, Book 2, Lecture 1, The Lotus, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May God watch over you and your loved ones. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.